right? Between pi halves and pi, which quadrant is that? Huh? Well, if here's 0, here's pi, this would be pi halves. So the quadrant between pi halves and pi is second quadrant. Do you guys remember the reference angles? What would my reference angle look like in the second quadrant? Your reference angles, ladies and gentlemen, are always between your x-axis, right? It's always going to be, the vertex is always going to be at that. I've seen like some like triangles look like, no, that's not, doesn't work. Your angle, your reference angle of your angle is always at, have a vertex at the origin. OK. So they're basically asking us, what angle produces cotangent of x where negative square root of 3? Now remember, when we talked about the unit circle, we always gave the radius to be 1. So let's just assume the radius is 1. Okay. Um, and again, I'm using it without a calculator. Now let's think about a couple of different understanding. We know tangent is opposite over adjacent, right? So cotangent would be adjacent over opposite, right? Um, so what we could do is we could think about this. We could rewrite this as negative square root of 3. Actually, um, let me actually change that. All right, well, let's try it. So we could rewrite this as negative square root of 3 over 1. Yes? Would you want to wait till I'm done with the problem? Or is it like an emergency? OK. So would you, would you guys be OK with that? So and actually, I'm sorry. And actually, I, I messed up. We don't want that to be 1. Because look at if this is adjacent over opposite. Now, first of all, does it, would it make sense if we had the negative in below? Because remember, guys, if this is your adjacent, negative, if this is square root of 3 over 1, which, which value is negative? The negative, right? Correct? OK. So um, the next thing that I see with this is um, basically we need to figure out what the angle is. Now, assuming if you guys see this relationship that you guys can um, kind of see with this. And I see the thing. Let me just make sure I have the questions. So if we're actually given, you should be able to find these numbers without a calculator using reference angle in the proper quadrants. OK. Do you guys see a relationship between these two sides? Does anybody see what triangle this kind of relates to? Is it a 45-45, or does it look like a relationship of a 30-60-90? 30-60-90. Now remember, guys, if there wasn't a relationship that you couldn't figure out, you would have to use your calculator. But it's telling you they don't want you to use your calculator. So what that should tell you is there's a relationship. And there's only two triangles that we talked about with these relationships, 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90, right? If they didn't tell you to not use your calculator, then you would have to use your calculator, right? And what would you use your calculator for? Huh? Yeah, how would you find the angle? What would you type in your calculator? Does anybody know? Anybody know how to figure out x? Right? To undo tangent, you'd have to take the tangent inverse. Ooh. Type that in. Type, somebody type that in your calculator. Let's see what the answer is. Don't tell me what it is. Just keep it down, because I'll, I'll tell you what the answer is without a calculator. So. In this problem, this relationship, you guys can kind of see, ooh, this side to go to this side looks like it's being um, multiplied by the square root of 3. Forget about the negatives. It's being multiplied by the square root of 3, right? Yes? So therefore, that looks like the short side. That looks like the long side. That means this side would be 2, right? Since all 30, 60, 90 triangles, since all 30, 60, 90 triangles and 45, 45, 90 triangles are um, are similar, you can always divide and multiply by multipliers. So in reality, I really have 1, 1 half, and negative square root of 3 over 2. 
which is a little bit more familiar with me with 30, 60, 90 triangles. So what angle, um, what would this angle be when the opposite side is 1 half, opposite side is 1 half, and over here? Is that the 30 or is that the 60? That is your 30 degrees. So therefore, x is equal to 30 degrees. And what was the tan, tan inverse of 1 over negative square root of 3? Negative 30 degrees. Um, you guys got negative 30 degrees? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. There is no real, I mean, yeah. the angle is not really going to matter for your negative 30 degrees. It's going to be 30 degrees. But yes, yeah, so, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 The angle is 30 degrees, right? And you're right, yeah, it's a thing. But what is, that's, um, that reference angle, but that's not your angle. That's your reference angle. Huh? Right, and your angle is going to be positive. But what, that's not our angle. What is our angle? And this is what I don't like about the problem. They don't tell you what the well, how did, well, they don't tell you how they want their angle. What, the angle, the reference angle is 30 degrees. What's the angle? Yeah, you could do 5 pi over 6 as the radians. Or you could say, angle is 150 degrees. Right? That's just the reference angle in that quadrant. And actually, let me look how the book actually asked that. I actually didn't look at that. 